median for continuous series. This is a continuous series data on the weight in kilogram of a sample of 10 children attending the nutritional clinic in Sama Rosaria, Nigeria. We know this to be a continuous series because we can see that the data is grouped and the frequency of each class is provided. So how do we find the median of this type of data series? Recall that the median is a measure of central tendency that indicates the middle value of the data set. So we're looking for the middle value or midpoint, right? Let us modify this table in a bit to make it easy for us to compute the median. So let's put the weights in kg here and then the frequency here and then we arrange all the data in a vertical manner. Awesome. This is better. To find the median for continuous series data, we will need to first compute the cumulative frequency, just like we did for discrete series data. So let us create a new column here for cumulative frequency. This will be 1, uh, then 1 plus 3 is 4, then 4 plus 3 is 7, then 7 plus 2 is 9, and then 9 plus 1 is 10. So to confirm if the cumulative frequency is correct, the last cumulative frequency should be the total of all the frequencies. So you can see here it is 10 and here too is 10. Awesome. And when we add all the frequencies, we confirm the question that says we had 10 children. So our N is 10. Great. So first, we need to find the position of the median class. To find the position of the median class, we'll use the formula N divided by 2. So we'll do 10 divided by 2 to get the median class position. So this is the fifth position. Nice. Next, we locate the median class using the cumulative frequency. The first observation lies in this class, as we can see a frequency of only one. Then the next three observations lie in the second class, right? That's already for observations, right? But we are looking for the fifth observation. And the fifth, sixth, and seventh observations all lie in the class of 10 to 15 kg. So this is our median class. Great. Let's pay special attention to this class, its frequency and everything. Now, if you don't understand how we got this class, as the median class. An easy way to look at it is that you should just select the class that has a cumulative frequency just above the median position. So our cumulative frequency of 7 is the one just above the fifth position, right? Nice. Now we know our number of values should to be 10 and the median class position to be the fifth position. Now we know the median class to be the 10 to 15 kg class. Now let's go ahead and find the median value. To find the median value, we'll make use of the simple formula L1 plus N over 2 minus CF0 divided by F1 multiplied by H. Where L1 is the lower class limit of the median class, which is 10. F1 is the frequency of the median class, which is 3. CF0 is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class, which is 4. Right here. H is the width of the median class. The width is the lower limit of this class minus that of the preceding class. So that is 10 minus 5. So we have 5. So our median is going to be 10 plus 10 divided by 2 minus 4 divided by 3 multiplied by 5. So this is 10 plus 5 minus 4 divided by 3 multiplied by 5. That's um, 10 plus 1.67. Our median equals 11.67 kilograms. And when you look at it, the median class is 10 to 15 kg, right? And our median falls somewhere in between this interval. So this is how to easily compute the median for continuous series data. Now, if you've gained value with this video, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and share this with your friends and colleagues to help them. Now, if you want to learn how to compute the mean for different series data, check out this video here. And for the mode, check out this other video right here. See you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.